When we talk about Morgan dollars, we have coins from the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest, the Wild West. Well, let's go to the West Coast, and boy, do we have a deal for you tonight. Known as the finest striking mint of all the Morgan Dollars series, San Francisco. Without question. And looking at these coins as we get further into it, you're going to agree. Gorgeous, right? But even if you ask the experts, gorgeous. Well, tonight the opportunity is for the 28 Morgans that were struck at the San Francisco Mint. We have coin number one right there, and coin number two, which I actually think is significantly rarer, the 1879 available. Best part, 89.95 each. 89.95 each. Your choice, first or second year, 1878, 1879. These are gorgeous uncirculated pieces. Our competition, let's just go to that right off the bat, and then we'll get into the details about the Morgan dollar. $223 is what you'll be paying with our competitors for the 1878, and they want a whopping $199 for the 1879. Savings tonight. Look at the reverse here. Just above the D and the O in dollar on the bottom, 6 o'clock, you have the S for San Francisco. It almost looks like a PL. That is the, when we talk about San Francisco striking the most finest quality Morgans, look at this coin. You almost have that deep mirror-like background in the field. Absolutely. Again, the story of the Morgan dollar, I think, is one of the great stories of our growing up as a country, right? We find gold in 1849 in California, then the rush begins, right? So we're all going to the West Coast, and all of a sudden we take a detour. The Comstock load is discovered, the largest silver find ever in the United States. Now what do we do with all the silver? We never had enough silver in coinage, which is why the silver dollar wasn't struck often, but now we do. So the interests out west lobby the treasury, the government, to make a new silver dollar. They chose this design. The designer's name was Morgan, George T. Morgan, so the coin got nicknamed the Morgan dollar, right? So the Bland-Allison Act is passed in 1878, and voila, this coin shows up the same year. 27 consecutive years, 1878 to 1904, and then it ended. And it was brought back one more year in 1921, done forever. It was the coin while we were growing up. Our westward expansion, everything that we were going through to become the nation we are today, over 100, and how many years later? 40 140 years later, 140 wow. 140 years ago. First and second year. Now, first year, 1878, they made 9.7 million coins. And in 1879, for the second year, they made just 9.1 million coins. Now, um, how can we put that into perspective for you? We can't really just say, hey, raise your hand if you have one of these and get a count of the people. But what we can uh, do. Would that be nice? Yeah, I know. Call me if you have one of these, and I'll <laughs> take all those calls. But. What we can do is go to population reports. Let's reference NGC. Uh, what they do is ever since they've opened their doors, every coin that comes through the door, they put on their census. If they've seen it, they record it. Now, how many years later, they opened in the mid to late 80s. We could look at those census reports and see how many coins they've seen. That gives us an idea of how many coins are really not out there because the numbers are so very, very small. In 1878, you're looking at just 60,000 coins, and 79 is just a few more, 116. Put it into another reference. Well, the, the reference, the modern reference is in 2021, we had the 100th anniversary of the Morgan dollar. Yeah. That was 175,000 coins. They made 175,000. Sold out 000, on yep. August 3rd. And can you find that coin for under $300 today? Absolutely not. These coins are 140 years old. Now make it even more fun. 2023 is the year of the Morgan dollar. We had a Philadelphia unk earlier, a San Francisco proof in the middle of the year, a San Francisco mint reverse proof recently. 275, 400, 250,000, all of them gone. These are way rarer and actually more affordable. And these are the original vintage silver dollars that those new programs celebrated. These are the true originals. Now, 1878, I mentioned 60,000, 1879, 116,000 on the population reports. Even the next year after that, 1880, 173,000, 1881, 288,000. So just the first four years right there, these are the rarest. They're, they're important because they're the first two, but they're also the rarest of 
the first few years. Well, like me, I'm a, I'm a numbers nerd when it comes to coins. I want to know the difference between all of them. So to me, all those numbers mean something because I want to have relative awareness on my coins. You know, are they all at this level or not? If there's 10 coins on the shelf, is one of them different? Now, they're all different, but is one of them drastically different? And you just brought it up. The 80 and the 81, just two years removed from the first two years. Significantly more, 100,000 more, and then 200,000 more. More than double. More than double and, and adds on. Yet these coins are the affordable coins because, well, you're watching ABC tonight. We are known for our Morgan dollars, we're known for our quality, but above all else, we're known for just attacking the price. We want you as a customer, where our competition is at $223 and $199 respectively. We are under 100 at $89.95 for the same 140-year-old coin. Your choice, though, if you want to join us with one or the other, whichever one speaks to you, that is your choice. We give you that opportunity to just buy one or multiples of one or the other. So give us a call, folks, or join us online via the web. That is avccoins.com. You just go to the search bar and put in 905-1185 for the 1878 and 905-2001 for the 1879. Each are available at 89.95 each. Steve just referenced our competition, a whopping 223 and $199. So join us now while these prices are so low and while our inventory lasts. Well, and, and as I referenced also, the brand new Morgan dollars that are out. If you take just the San Francisco issues, in 2021, there was a San Francisco Morgan. 175,000 of them made, sold out instantly, August 3rd, delivered October, November of that year. And today you can't find it for under $300. That's a brand new coin where there's 175,000 known. This year, San Francisco makes the first proofs, 400,000. Competitions at 169 to 179, we were at 109 the last time we had them available. And then the reverse proofs at 250,000, right? Allison just told us a few seconds ago that the services that just count the coins they see are not seeing these anywhere close to the numbers we're seeing today on the brand new coins. So if you bought the brand new ones, how about going back and getting the rarer coins for lesser money? That's the, the boggle in my head. I just can't grab onto it and put it into words. It's like, these are way rare. You want to shake the TV? These are way rarer. And actually to a point where I was just told, I think we're down to a couple each. AVCcoins.com. Guys, I think we got to do a hot cut on this one. If you're online, i.e. AVCcoins.com, and you have either of these or both in your shopping cart, push it through. The, when you get an order number, it locks the inventory, and then you're in. Otherwise, it's that close right now. Thank you for letting us talk. We love this series. When you get them, you're going to fall in love with them too.